Is this working? Did this work? Can you, can everyone hear me? I'm just trying to use my like other microphone for better sound quality, but I'm not sure if it's working. Oh, hi, hi. Uh, can anyone hear me? Let's see. Hey, hey everyone. You can hear me, brilliant. Okay, this is good, this is good. Loud and clear, awesome. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, great. Well, happy, what is it? Sunday, Bond fans. I have my Vespa Martini here, um, which turned out to look quite all right. I even got the long, thin slice of lemon peel right. Um, I haven't tasted it yet, so it might be pretty rank, um, but we'll see. Obviously, I couldn't find the Kina Lele because I found out today that apparently that doesn't actually exist anymore. So I had to find some other kind of vermouth, which is not something I usually buy, so I had no idea if I bought a good one or not. Um, but yeah, uh, cheers, everyone. Uh, oh, loud and clear, good. Thank you, Sam. Um, uh, where are my minions? Oh, uh, Sol and Alan. Yeah, no, they, 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 we don't actually live together anymore. So that's, yeah. Should there be three slices of lemon? Should it? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I went by this, this cocktail book, uh, Bond Cocktails, which is largely full of like cocktails that aren't, well, I suppose he doesn't really drink that much in the, that, much of a variety in the films, but there's some in here which have very tenuous links to anything Bond related. I mean, it starts off on the wrong foot by giving you a recipe for a classic martini and then saying, um, oh, where is it? Oh, maybe it isn't this one. Add the vermouth and gin, fill the other. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, add the vermouth and the gin or vodka to a mixing glass filled with ice and stir. The whole point of a James Bond martini book is that you shake them, not stir them, obviously. Um, right, okay, right, yeah, no, I'll have to have a drink of this. Okay, well, cheers, everyone. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, not bad. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that is not bad at all. Oh, wow. I'm impressed with myself. Like, I've had these before, like, in restaurants and stuff, but never, um... Never actually made one myself, so have an enzyme shake. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, not doing that. Uh, so I like this look more on you than the bow tie. Thank you. This is my. This is just a black jumper. Um, okay, right. Uh, I should probably. Should I, uh, I? I've never done one of these live stream things before, so I think I'll just answer questions that come up on the side, or just generally ramble, which is probably what I'll end up doing more than anything else. Uh, Calvin, when will Dr. No book review be coming? Okay, I can answer that because I've had a really productive weekend when it comes to video stuff, and today I just filmed the, the review, so I'm hoping to either have it up tonight or tomorrow, depending on, because those ones are quite quick to edit, because uh, it's just, you know, I, I don't film inserts or anything. There are no clips to find. It's just, um, you know, quite easy to put together. Um, See, so yeah, I recorded the... Because uh, when I make videos, there's, like, two phases to it. There's, like, me in front of that background doing the talking. And then I also, um, yeah, do the voiceover uh, clip bits. Um, So, yeah, today I filmed the bits of me in front of that for... 007 Legends, uh, Doctor No Review, and Top 10 Bond Villain Lairs. So, yeah, that's... Uh, uh, Calvin, do you miss James Bond video games? I do so much, and that was something that I talked about today for the um, uh, 007 Legends review. So, yeah, expect a big old rant coming about that one. Uh, do you think 007 Legends is bad or okay? I think it's really bad. I think it's really, really, really bad. Um, yeah, not a fan. Uh, could you rank the Bond actors, please? Oh, that's a whole video in of itself. I, I mean, I could write a book on, on, on that. Uh, they were talking about Bond and drinks on QI. Have you seen those? No, I haven't actually. That'd be one to check out. Which one is it? 
Super William 5? Super William V? Is it? Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, if you could let me know which episode, which series I need to track down to find that, that'd be good. Have I seen True Detective? No, I haven't. Um, and that, and it's Maniac, isn't it? The Netflix show that I know that I need to watch to get a better sense of Mr. Fukunaga's. Is it Fukunaga? Am I pronouncing it correctly? Um, uh, Calvin, are you enjoying the La La Land reissue of Twine Casino Jazz? I am. I love Casino Jazz. It's awesome. Mm. Andy, I haven't read any of the short stories yet because I'm I'm going through them in order. So the next book I read will be, I think it's it's Fior Eyes Only is the next book in the Fleming chronology. So, and I can't wait to get to it. I really cannot wait to get to it. Um, all the short stories. Um... Have you seen Diamonds Aren't Forever? No, I don't know what that is. Um, have you seen Bojack Horseman? Yes. <laughs> yes, I have. I don't know what... Did Kerry Fukunaga direct one of those? Or um, Any movies you've changed your mind on since you made the top movie list? Yes, because I'll have a new Bond ranking, um, movie ranking video coming up. I, I'm hoping to have it up for the 14th of February so that it's like a full year before the next one. But there are some that have completely changed in my ranking. Um, it's going to be quite different, actually, um, which is interesting. Yes, I pronounced it correctly. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. I'm Richard Madden to be the next boss. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't mind Richard Madden. Uh, will you play Bo James Bond Jr. on the NES or uh, SNES? I would love to. It just, once I've done with 007 Legends, once I've reviewed that, I'm going to go back to 007 Racing and then sort of work backwards in reviewing the games to event. I mean, certainly the PS2 and PS1 games are no problem. Um, N64 is fine too. Um, so yeah, hope to get onto those relatively soonish. Do you plan to revisit the graphic novels? I think you'll enjoy the Casino Royale graphic novel adaptation if you haven't checked out already. Yes. Well, I've got um, a f I got a few for Christmas actually. I don't have them to hand. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm really looking forward to um to reading those. Have you seen Archer? Yes, yes, I am an Archer fan. Ever seen Layer Cake? No, no, I have not seen Layer Cake, but I would I would like to. I think it'd be. Do you think Tomorrow Never Dies has gotten better with age due to its social commentary? It's kind of more relevant now than it was back in '97, or maybe may, well, at least I think so. But yeah, Tomorrow Never Dies has always been one of my favorites. So I'm a uh, yeah. I'm a fan of that one. Um, do a top 10 James Bond games? Yes, but first I need to play them all, which is going to be quite difficult. I might have to eBay some pretty obscure consoles to get there, but... Do you have any other Bond prop replicas? Uh, I've got the Spectre ring, and then I have the Golden Gun, and that's about it. Well, I, I really wanted the Golden Eye, because um, Factor Entertainment do the like the Golden Eye key and with the two keys. Um, and I really wanted that, but it's so expensive, and I can't quite justify spending the money on it, I'm afraid. It's something like 500 quid the last time I looked, and I would love to have it, but, you know, never mind. Um, are you pumped for... How pumped are you for Bond 25 right now, scale of 1 to 10? At the moment, I'm probably about a 6, so maybe not hugely pumped but i will be once everything starts moving because we're in a point now, we're at a point now where it's just a lot of speculation and i get more excited when things are actually confirmed so we we can you know speculate forever if Rami malik is going to be the villain but I, I you know until it's confirmed i'm like well anyone could be who do you think is the most underrated bond henchman oh that's a good one um uh, I'm probably Orumov from Goldeneye. I think he's brilliant. Uh, uh, let's hate on Piers Brosnan. I didn't realize that was a trend. What? Maybe this is because I grew up in the 90s, so Piers Brosnan was the Bond that was Bond when I got into Bond. So I'm a huge fan, and I think, like, I'm probably spoiling a bit, like, for, for my, when, when I was doing my um, re-ranking, I was watching all the films and then um, noting them down on a list on here, and I think that three of his films are in my top eight Bond films, so I'm definitely a, a Brosnan fan. 
Um, yeah. Uh, sorry if I'm not like answering your uh, question immediately, but just keep typing if I don't get to it because it because I I just ramble on and by the time I've actually answered one, the list has gone up. I'm afraid. So uh, uh, yes, Orimo, brilliant, Daniel. Um, have you seen Hot Fuzz? Yes. Yes, and uh, I like Hot Fuzz a lot. And Timothy Dalton's actually brilliant in it. I think that was one of the things that brought me around to actually liking him a lot more. And I saw License to Kill for, um, again, for this re-ranking video that I'm going to be doing, and I actually liked it a hell of a lot more than when I first started watching it. So, I yeah, that's one of the reasons why there are some videos that are on my channel that have um, been taken down for copyright issues, like part two of... Um, Skyfall review and some others, but License to Kill was one that I took down myself just because my opinions on that have changed so much that I kind of wasn't comfortable with that video being there anymore. So I, I that that's why I took that one down. I'll get back to a re-review of it eventually. Um, but yeah, the last time I watched it, I really, really enjoyed it. Calvin Dalton was going to be in an unproduced remake of Thunderball called Warhead 2000. It never happened. Yes, I did hear about that, which would have been absolutely bizarre if he had a comeback. Um, but then it would have been funny because every, like, 30 years or so, we would have presumably got a new Thunderball remake with whoever the previous Bond actor was, and that would have been a fun... Uh, that would have been a fun runner. Um, uh, oh... Uh, what would you have thought about Dalton's third film, Property of a Lady, would set in the Far East? And oh yeah, because I was reading up about this recently, actually, and uh, I think it would. It sounds pretty cool. Like I, I, I would have been very interested in it, but I, I think it was probably for the better of the series that there was a big break, and then when we came back, there was like a new director and a new actor and a new vision for it because I think that a part of it was just audience fatigue, like that led to sort of a decline in the series. Sorry, I'm just going to have a sip of me Vespa. Um, right. Uh, License to Kill was in 007 Legends. Yes, it was. And I really, that's actually pr probably my favorite set of levels in that game. Um, uh, I don't think Dalton was that bad. Neither do I, to be honest, anymore. Um, Opinion on Brosnan singing in Mamma Mia. Oh, it's so funny. It's terrible, but funny. I love Brosnan in Mamma Mia. Has anyone seen the movie IT? Because I watched it lately with uh, Pierce Brosnan plays like uh, a, a CEO of a um, company. I don't know. And the whole premise is that, oh, there's this creepy IT guy who's trying to like get off with Pierce Brosnan's underage daughter. But it's just one of the funniest, like, Pierce Brosnan is proper hamming it up, and he's so funny in it. It's like, this IT guy's hacking into Pierce Brosnan's smart home, so it's just scenes of Pierce Brosnan running around his house in the middle of the night screaming at his, like, you know, sonos speaker, um, because it keeps playing. It's really funny. Um, uh, would you ever want to get a James Bond wristwatch? Uh, and if maybe was uh, what one? I love a Rolex. Oh no, it's Omega. Yeah, of course, it's Omega. I mean, yes, I would. I would love uh, a James Bond wrist, uh, wrist watch. What is your favorite ga Bond game next to Nightfire? Oh, that is a really good question. It becomes really hard ranking those because I think Nightfire is my favorite, and then it's probably Agent Under Fire. And then maybe everything or nothing. I don't know. All those EA ones, I really love. I, I think they're fantastic games. Did you see November Man? Yes, I did. And I quite like November Man. Uh, I, th I thought that was quite good. I, I try to keep up with the Pierce Brosnan action movies that he makes every now and then. Do you own any James Bond related action figures or toys in general? Um, I don't know. I've got I've got the cars, the Corgi cars that were released um, a while ago. I got like one or one particular version of that set. I know that they um they redo a similar thing every few years or or so. But other than that, for some reason, in a moment of madness on eBay, I bought a uh, an action figure of Odd Job from the James Bond Junior series. I, I don't know why I did it, but I did. I, 
I don't know if it's here or if it's because like, I mean, I live in London, but my family is up north. Um, and I think I left it up there. Um, controversial topic. What are your thoughts on gender slash race swapping bond? Well, uh, let me take another drink of this and we'll uh, get into that. But no, actually, there's not that much to get into. So, so. Mm. Um, when it comes to gender swap, I don't think that that is an option. Uh, I, I just think that, like, it really annoys me when people go on about, like, oh, there should be more female-led spy adventures, more female action movies, all this kind of stuff, and it's like, well, they make them. Like, there's Atomic Blonde, there's Red Sparrow, there's Salt, there's, like, there's plenty. The problem is they don't make a whole lot of money, so they don't make more of them. So if all the people complaining <laughs> that they want James Bond to be a woman actually went and saw those movies, they might have, you know, a whole other spy show, a whole other spy series, and I think that'd be great. But uh, I, I just don't understand why, in order to get these issues, I don't even think they're issues, but people call them issues, like, to get these things raised, that you need to change something and piggyback on that thing in order to get your point across. Like, why not just create a new thing and roll with that? I... If if it's a if it's a Bond film and Bond isn't a guy, then I I don't think it's a Bond film. It's like it really annoyed me when uh, the um, uh, well, I can't remember his name, the BBC culture critic, um, whatever his name is, was interviewing. I think it was Viola Davies, who was an amazing actress. I absolutely love her. But at the end of the interview, he was, he was she was talking about Widows. It was a really interesting interview. Interview, and then he says, "Would would you ever consider playing James Bond?" And she was like, well, yes, but they'd have to write her as a woman. And I'm like, well, wh why would... Well, that wouldn't be James Bond then, would it? That would be a different spy character. So I, I don't... Yeah. How's the martini? Yes, it's great. It's great. Thank you. I might have another one, actually. Um, in fact, I'll bring in the uh, equipment and uh, we can do a little drinking Q&A uh, tutorial. I don't know. Um, oh yes, um, Pixel Brother sixty four, Will Gompertz. That's the one. That's the one. Uh, are you going to be reviewing the best pick noms on diminishing returns this year? I probably won't. Solon Allen will be doing. I don't. I I had to sort of take a step back from that because the time was getting a little bit too. Uh, it was becoming a bit much, and I didn't have any chance to do um, YouTube stuff while I was so. Uh, you know, in, uh, invested with the the podcast because it takes a lot of time to watch like a whole series and then talk about it and stuff. So I just yeah. Um, do you wish Dalton uh, did Goldeneye or more? I don't wish he did Goldeneye. I would have liked another Bond film from him, and then Pierce Brosnan take over from ninety five. Like if we could have had another Bond film from Dalton in ninety one or ninety two, that would have been that would have been nice. What did you think of the Dine of the Day and the World Is Not Enough soundtracks and La La Land records? Loved them. Absolutely loved them. If you haven't got those already, get them. Like, they're frigging amazing. And I really hope that the next one they're going to do is Tomorrow Never Dies. Um, uh, ever seen The Saint with Roger Moore? Uh, Kina Lele doesn't exist, but it is now Lele. Oh, uh, I have seen a couple of episodes of The Saints, but I know there's so many of them, isn't there? There's like hundreds, and I just... There are other things to watch. I, you know. Hi, Danny. MacGyver. Uh, uh, saw Spectre on telly at Christmas. Christ, such a boring and dismal experience. Might be the worst of all time. I mean, there's Never Say Never Again. I think that's worse. Maybe. Are you going to review the Gardner Bond books? Yes, that's my plan after I've looked at all the Fleming ones. Uh, I just kind of want to go along chronologically, so whatever official Bond publication there was, I'm going to read it and then cover it, or at least that's my plan. I'm drumming along to Bond songs during this live stream. Do you play an instrument, Calvin? No, I don't. I'm probably the most, the least musical, talented person on the planet. I think, as you can probably tell, whenever I whenever I make a video about like top ten Bond songs and stuff, I can't really articulate much of a reason why I like something beyond just oh, this is nice. I like uh, Skyfall. Uh. Anderson tapes. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, top five favorite films. Ooh, okay. 
Um, Psycho, Alfred Hitchcock. The Great Dictator, Charlie Chaplin. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, an American Werewolf in London. And then either The Sound of Music or The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Both for very different reasons, of course. But I, I love both of those movies. Uh, my top ten is quite eclectic. Um, uh, do you wish the films came out as often as in the 60s? Uh, uh, I, I wish we had one every two to three years. I feel like that is a okay amount to wait. Five years is too much. Six is even worse. Um, American Werewolf in London is great. Yes. Yes, I quite agree. Opinion on non-John Barry scores. Well, just today I watched um, The Spy... Oh, actually, rather, last night I watched The Spy Who Loved Me for, like, the umpteenth time, and uh, I can never decide if I like that score or not. It's dated terribly, but I, I kind of like it a bit. It's actually quite nice. Do you think we'll see a Lego Lotus? I hope so. I mean, I, I've only seen pictures of the Lego um, DB5, but it looks really cool. I um, Again, it's a bit like that Factory Entertainment GoldenEye thing where it's like, you know, can't, can't quite justify the money to spend on it, but so no, I don't have the Lego Aston Martin. Um, have you ever considered writing your own Bond story? I don't know if I ever would. It's a bit when you're into something so much, it's kind of like I can't even begin to imagine what I would want him to do. It's uh, it's weird. It is a funky score, Daniel. It is a very... I like Michael Kamen as composer too, actually. I really like um, the License to Kill score. I think it's really good. Sorry, I'm just going to rearrange my legs a bit. Oh, sorry, tilting. Um, uh, I have to sign off at work. I just wanted to say that I enjoy your reviews and glad you're doing the books. Thanks. Thank you, Lawrence Washington. That's very nice. Any artist you'd want for the next Bond song? Yes, yes, Lady Gaga. Tumbleweeds, silence. No, I think she's great. Like, I absolutely adore her, and I think that she'd uh, nail it. But they'll never go for her. They'll never get Lady Gaga to do a Bond theme. And considering where her career is going, she'd probably want to star in it. Um, After Craig finishes his tenure as Bond, do you think the series should take a Mission Impossible approach where the next... With the next Bond film, where each Mission Impossible is over universe? No, no. I thought Spectre failed terribly in uh, trying to create some kind of bigger universe. And uh, yeah, I think that Quantum of Solace and Spectre are probably the two weakest Bond films of the official series. And a part of that is it's so obsessed with trying to create the, a, a story bigger than the one film. And I don't like that. I like Bond films because you can go into any one, mostly, and just kind of roll with it, pick it up as you go along. Whereas, yeah, no. Um, oh, thanks, Vinny. That's very kind. Uh... uh what do you think they're going to do with Madeline Swan? I really hope they don't just bring her back to kill her in the first few minutes. I'm really hoping that she's going to be... Um, I, well, I've said it in one of my other videos, actually, because reading the books, like I quite like how we get some detail on how Bond ends up breaking up with some of the girls who he's previously been with, like Tiffany Case, for example. And um, I would like to see what that would look like on screen. If she just comes in and is like, I, you know, this isn't working out or whatever. I don't want a long scene. I literally, cameo is fine with me. I have a feeling it's going to be more than that, but if she dies and that's his motivation for the film, oh my God, just... I, I, exactly, she is a poor man's Tracy. Yeah, I completely agree with that. Favorite song, not just Bond. Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. It's a banger. Um, most underrated Bond ally. Oh, it's hard to think of underrated Bond allies. Maybe Jack Wade. I'm, I'm, I've always been a fan of Jack Wade. I like him. Um, would you like a 15 or 18 certificate Bond? Well, we do have License to Kill. Um, no, I, I, I'm happy with Bond being at the current rate it is, the, the 12 certificate when will your 007 Legends review come out? Well, hopefully um, the 27th of this month. I hope so. Then wish her as great as Q. He is. He is a great Q. 
uh, which gadget do you want to see in the next Bond movie? Oh, I know. When it comes to gadgets in the new Bond films, it's such a because there's so much stuff in it. Like even in uh, when I was watching the Spy Who Loved Me, it never occurred to me that at one point uh, Anya flicks a, a, a switch and there's like a camera in the back of the Lotus, so you can see behind. And at the time, that was probably like a oh wow, and it's like oh no, we actually have that now. It's amazing how many Bond gadgets are literally like oh wow, that just exists in the real world today. Um, but I'm always a fan of the laser watch. I love the laser watch so much. I would be, um, would you be up for a quantum inspector audio commentary? I'd love to, to do that. I'm not sure like quite how to go about making it available, but, uh, uh, we'll see. I think that'd be the kind of thing where it couldn't just be me. I'd have to like do it with other people maybe. Um, uh, do you plan on reviewing the original Goldeneye? I'm going to assume that's the game, and yes, yes, I will be uh, re reviewing 007 Racing and then working my way back from there once I've finished with 007 Legends. Um, do you think Dine of the Day was questionable in 007 Legends? Uh, I don't know if I'd say it was questionable. It was the only uh, Pierce Brosnan Bond film that hadn't been adapted to a video game in some form, so I guess that's why they included it. Um, do you think the Bond series would have been successful if Moore was the first Bond instead of Connery? Oh, that is a really good question. I don't think it would be. As much as I love Moore, obviously, I don't think that he would... Um, yeah, I don't think he would be as appealing to the masses as Connery. Sorry, I hit my thing then. I hope that wasn't dreadful for everyone. Um, have you listened to the podcast, James Bonding? I have, I have. Um, yeah. Has another way to die grown on you? No. Because they, they played Quantum of Solace on ITV over Christmas, and uh, I was at home with some like family, and then we were flicking channels, and then just the start came on, and I was like, oh, great, yeah, let's watch the car chase, I like the car chase, um, even though it's relatively unremarkable, uh, and then as soon as the song came on, I was like, you know, my nails like digged into the chair, and I was like, nah. Nah, I can't deal with this. It's a horrible, horrible, not even just a horrible song. It is a horrible piece of audio experience. I, I can't articulate enough how much I hate that song. Thanks for asking, Jack. <laughs> Could you ever imagine Burt Reynolds as Bond? No, I, from the limit little that I've seen of Burt Reynolds, I, I, I don't think, um, yeah. I'm not a, a huge fan. Uh, best performance by a Bond in a non-Bond film. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, you know what? I really... I'm a fan of uh, Roger Moore's um, The Man Who Haunted Himself. I think he is actually phenomenal in it. I think he's brilliant. Uh, Connery is obviously great in most things. Um... I, I've certainly not seen the entire filmography of every Bond, but more in, um, yeah, in uh, The Man Who Haunted Himself, I thought was pretty incredible. Do you think Mr. Hinks will return? I hope not. Again, like, fewer ties to Spectre, the better for me. Thoughts on Sean Connery and Indiana Jones? I love Indiana Jones and Last Crusade is my favorite Indiana Jones movie, so I am all, yeah, I love him in that. They have a random thing to say, but whilst on Burt Reynolds, you should definitely watch a film called Boogie Nights. Yeah, it's been on my to watch list for a while, actually. I do need to. Sean Connery in Time Bandits is good. Uh, I've not seen Highlander. Bond Telltale Game. Ooh, yes, I don't know much about, like, video game companies, really, but I know that they were interested in getting the rights. Basically, just give the rights to anyone and make a Bond game and I'll be happy. Um, just try to make another video out of it, I suppose. After they recast Craig, do you think they should go back to the original timeline or continue with his? Because the timeline is always kind of floating anyway, I think that now we can just keep going with this one. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, I'm pretty sure that like after Craig, it'll be a soft reboot anyway. Um, favorite World War II movie: Bridge on the River Kwai. 
that would be in my top 10 movies of all time. Alec Guinness in that film is just phenomenal. I, I love him in that. Have you seen Hunt for Red October? No, I haven't. That's that's another one that's on my to-watch list. Um, hello, Calvin. I've been wondering if you have a specific opinion on the Alex Ryder series. It's getting a TV show. I did not know that. Oh, that's cool. Um, no, I loved those books when I was a kid. I, I, I read them. Um, well, to a point anyway, I, I, I think... I read up to, is it Scorpius or Archangel? Whichever one of those came last, I read that one. Uh, and, and obviously, now that I'm reading the Fleming books, it's like obvious where Anthony Horowitz got uh, some of his ideas. They're uh, very similar in a lot of ways. Do you think Skyfall should have been nominated for a Best Picture at the Academy Awards? It was my favorite movie of 2012, so yeah, I, I, I think it was the best, actually. Um, yeah, it totally should have. Um, uh, have you seen Gold with Roger Moore? I haven't. Does my partner like Bond? Oh, he kind of... I've shown him two now. Skyfall and Casino Royale. And, um, he liked Skyfall. And I showed him Casino Royale because we're doing the secret cinema thing in London next year. Uh, this year now. Um, which I'm very excited about. But I thought, well, you need to see this because then you can you know, appreciate the movie more when we actually do the, do the thing. Um, and then, yeah, and he really loved it. He loved Casino Royale more than I thought he would. And I was surprised because I was like, oh, Skyfall will be the one that, you know, the only problem is that now I can't show him Connor with Souls Inspector because they're dreadful and it might ruin his impression. Golden I'll be the next one. Who is your favorite Bond director? <laughs> Uh, I guess on a batting average, it would have to be Martin Campbell, just because his two are both phenomenal. He hasn't had a miss. He's only had hits. Uh, whereas I can't think of another director who had a completely, uh, you know, a complete run. Um, thoughts on Mission Impossible Fallout? I haven't seen it. It's really bad, but I've got the box set, actually. Um, I'm thinking about doing quite, like, small, not small reviews, but um, doing other spy series. I'm thinking about, like, setting up, like, a Patreon or something so that people can vote on what series or whatever that I would uh, do, basically, because I, I was thinking, like, oh, yeah, there's all the Bourne films, there's Mission Impossible, there's all these other films starring Bond actors, both good and bad. Um, that would be interesting to look at. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'll be doing that in the next couple of months, maybe. Um, and I'd be doing a Patreon just to see how much uh, want there is for that kind of thing, I suppose. Like, I don't... Like, I stopped doing the Alfred Hitchcock reviews a while ago just because they weren't getting a lot of hits and stuff. And fair enough, they're all, like, old movies and, and, and all that. But... Um, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, what is my day job? I work in children's television. That is my day job. Uh, do you think Campbell will direct a third? I kind of don't want him to because it's like, oh, I don't want to... I don't want to ruin your 100% batting average. My housemate really likes you. Can you give a shout out to Zach? Zach! 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Um... I haven't seen The Spy Who Dumped Me. I haven't seen Johnny English 3, but once I have, I will be reviewing that. Um, oh, lots of... Uh, Martin... Uh, which deleted scenes do you think they will include? For, for what, Daniel? Uh, I'm curious. When do you reckon the Bond 25 trailer will drop? Well, considering that they're not starting filming until I think it's March... It's going to be a while. Um, yeah, we'll see. What was your job in high school? In high school, I worked uh, uh, on Tesco checkouts at weekends, and that was uh, that was my that was my job in well towards the end of high school anyway. When I turned sixteen and could do that kind of thing, with that, that, that kind of thing work. Um, uh, what did you think of Bond in Motion? I loved Bond in Motion. I've been twice. I need to go soon again, actually, because I've not been since Spectre was released, which is pretty bad. Um, hello, have you ever read 
Solo. I have not read Solo. Um, again, like like I was saying earlier on, I'm kind of looking to finish all the Fleming books and then work my way through all the other bon Bond books chronologically. Um, or at least that's my plan. Um, what did you think of Pierce Brosnan in November Man? Bond grown old and retired from MI6. That's It had that feel to it, didn't it? Really did. And I was a fan of it for that reason. Oh. Uh, would you ever go to the Golden Eye Estate? I would love to go to the Golden Eye Estate. Are you going to pay for me, Duncan? <laughs> Is that an offer? There is a bar there called Moonraker. Oh, that'd be nice. I'd like, yeah, you know, I'd love to do that. James Bond Beach. Oh, it'd be nice. Um, I find you very funny. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. I'm glad that someone does. Have you seen Mary Poppins Returns? Yes, I have. And it was very, very fine. It it was it was just the most fine cinematic experience I've ever had. No more, no less. But Ben Whishaw was great in it. I really liked Ben Whishaw. Think about Mary Poppins Returns. That I thought was really weird. That sorry, spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it. Uh, I'm about to see the viewing numbers go down now. I'm sure. Um, but there's this whole bit in the first film, obviously, where. Uh, the young lad, the young Banks lad, uh, is being encouraged to put tuppence in the bank. And the whole point, I thought, of that movie was the, oh no, you should, you know, don't put it in the bank, give it to the bird lady who's feeding these birds, and, um, you know, she really needs it, it's compassionate to do that, give them to her. Um, and now in the sequel, they're like, Oh, by Jove, Michael, it's a good thing your father invested that tuppence for you because the interest on it over the past, like, 30 years has meant that now you can afford this thing that you really need. And it was like, wait a minute, we're celebrating actually investing money in the bank, which I thought was kind of against the whole moral of the first film. Anyway, that's um, Emily Blunt is a Bond girl I'd like. And that's probably as little as I'm going to... I wasn't expecting to talk about Mary Poppins on this, uh, on, on this live stream. Um... Are you enjoying it? I think it's going all right. I think it's going all right. Um, thoughts on Bohemian Rhapsody movie? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen that. Nicolas Cage is a Bond villain. <laughs> That'd be something. That would be something. Mm. Pierce Brosnan does look really good. I think he could still be Bond today as well, Matthew. Um, I mean, and to be honest, he was the kind of guy who, like, I could imagine him going on for a while until they sort of showed him the door. Um, yes, thank you, Jack. Yes, the messaging was confusing. I was like, wait a minute, what? Like, So we're celebrating this whole interest capitalist thing that I thought that the first movie was against. But anyway. Um, did you know it's on a Magic Secret Service's 50th anniversary? Yes, as well as Moonraker, uh, for another anniversary, obviously, The World's Not Enough, and uh, License to Kill. License to Kill. I'm also 30 this year. I was born the same year that uh, License to Kill came out. Um, have you seen Black Mirror? Yes, I have. I'm a big fan. I hated Bandersnatch. I really hated Bandersnatch, but uh, I absolutely adored everything else. How about Sia to write a Bond theme? Yes, yes, I would love that. That would be brilliant. Um, need more eyebrow raise in the next film. Yes, we do. Yes, yes. What's the most expensive Bond merch you have bought? Oh, the Golden Gun prop replica was pretty expensive. And that was money that my grandparents gave me to get a car. I was really like... Yeah, it was like, oh, you can do something sensible with this. You can put it towards a deposit, you can buy a car with it, because I was like 17, 18 or something, and they gave me the money, and it was like... I, I still never told them that I bought that, um, bought the golden gun. Sorry, Grandma. I know she's not watching now, but yeah. Rick Astley for a Bond theme. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? Dalton in a view to a kill I would have loved, yeah. I'm done talking about Mary Poppins Returns, so don't worry, don't worry, it's done, it's done. Uh, I don't know how, I wish I could raise one eyebrow like that. I can do a Mexican wave with my eyebrows. Oh, I can't because I've had a, a Vespa, but okay.
Oh, I can't do it. I've had a Vespa. That's the that's dreadful. If I was sober, I could do it. But yeah. What what Bond movie do you watch the most though of all of them? Probably The World Is Not Enough. I think that's the one. Uh you don't need a car in London anyway. Exactly. You don't need a golden gun prop replica either, but Thoughts on Queen. As in the Queen or Queen? Uh, because I like both. Uh, uh, do you think Bryce Dallas Howard could be a Bond girl? Yeah, actually, I like her. I like her quite a bit. Favorite Billy Wilder movie? Okay, some like it hot, for sure. Uh, oh no, actually, I tell you what, sorry, I'm just gonna have to Google Billy Wilder now, because... I saw a movie of his recently, and I was like, this is a Billy Wilder movie, and I absolutely loved it. Let me check what it was. Uh, film directed by Billy Wilder. Um, bu 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 oh, maybe I've completely imagined this. Oh, no, Double Indemnity. That was it, Double Indemnity. I love Double Indemnity. It's fantastic. Uh, Calvin, love your channel. Have you ever done an escape room? Yes, because there's some in my hometown. Uh, and I've only done it twice now, but they're really good. I would love a James Bond-themed, uh, escape room. There's an idea, an escape room themed after the, uh, train from Goldeneye. That'd be pretty awesome. Have you met any Bond actor, Bond villains, etc.? Well, I met Roger Moore at a book signing um, a few years ago, obviously, when he was still with us. And that was kind of like, now that I did that, I don't know if anything else would be, well, as, uh, uh, you know, as good. Like, it's, uh, and I, I completely froze because I was like, I've no idea what I'm going to say to you. You are my childhood hero. You are mean so much, like, to my life, my growing up, and I just can't articulate anything right now. Um, but yeah, uh, and then I met a guy who was in The World Is Not Enough, and um, he's Guy Haynes' bodyguard that Daniel pushes off the roof in Quantum of Solace. Um, and I met him, uh, he's a stunt guy as well, Derek something I think his name is, and he uh, we, we had photos, and, um, I requested that he punch me in the face during the photo, and he really, he went, you know, quite in far, obviously he was just holding his fist there, he didn't actually punch me, because I probably wouldn't be alive if that man punched me, he's huge, um, but yeah, what do you think if they bring John Cleese back as Q? I'm a big John Cleese fan, so I'd be up for that, um, what do you think of Orson Welles? Love Orson Welles! Uh, I saw the Casino Royale original film recently, and he's brilliant in that. Um, love him in Catch-22 as well. If you haven't seen Catch-22, he's really nice in that. A small part, but... How do you meet Guy Hamilton? I didn't actually meet Guy Hamilton, is the problem. It was my dad that met him. Um, because my dad was going golfing with a friend, and it turned out that it was the same resort, and I think it was Mallorca where Guy Hamilton went, and my dad's friend was like, oh yeah, there's a director of a Bond movie who comes along to play golf. And my dad was like, oh, my son's into James Bond. Maybe I'll take um, something to get it signed. So obviously I went home, and then my the Man with the Golden Gun DVD was missing, and I was like, hey, where's my Man with the Golden Gun DVD? And it turned out that my mum had given it to my dad to take away, and then I rumbled him, and then he was like, oh, well, for God's sake, just go and get the rest of them then. So then I went and got them all, and then, uh, yeah, and then Guy Hamilton signed them all very kindly. Um, and then my dad went back the year after and, you know, passed on my um, gratitude and whatnot. Uh, and then Guy sent back, like, a, a glossy photo of him that he'd signed which was really sweet. It was, like, such a lovely thing to do. Really, really, really nice guy. My dad, like, had a little chat with him, and, yeah, really liked him. Plans to do an updated film ranking? Yes! Uh, February 14th is when I'm planning on uploading it. That might slide, but... Thoughts on the game Agent of Fire? Well, I have a video review on my channel of that, but I love it. I, it like I was saying earlier on, it's probably my second or third favorite Bond game. Really, really into it. Are the rest of your family Bond fans too? No, sadly. A jump to the left and a jump to the right. Yes, 
Yes, love me a bit of Charles Gray. I want the tea on Orson Welles and Peter Sellers hating each other. That stuff is so fascinating. Yeah, yeah. That's almost the movie in itself. Like, just their trouble during the filming of the Casino Royale 67. Um, did you see Halloween? How tall are you? I'm, I'm six foot one. I could be Bond. Did you see Halloween 2018? Yes, I did, and I loved it. Apart from the very ending, but I won't spoil it because I think it's too good to be spoiled. Opinions on Scarface. I haven't seen Scarface, I'm afraid. Which Bond movie is the sexiest? Ooh, that's a good question. Is it weird if I say the uh, Casino Royale spoof? The, the comedy? There's something really pervy about that film, and I, I don't quite know if that translates to sexiness, but it's, yeah, it's an odd one. Am I the only one who thinks that Ray Fiennes would be more suited to do a Bond villain? No, I... No, you're not. Is that water a vodka martini? This, Tom, is a Vespa. With a with a large, thin slice of lemon peel. Do a wall for PPK review. I wouldn't even know where to begin getting one. Um, I'm sure there are forms to fill out to acquire such things. Um, Daniel Craig is 5'10 and is Bond, yeah. 510. Uh, are you open to see Christoph Waltz returning as Blofeld? No. No. Actually, you know what? I think he would probably be a lot better, because even he acknowledges that he what he didn't feel like he doesn't feel like he nailed that character. Um so yeah, I may, maybe he'd do better on the on the next go. I don't know. Just notice you can see my dreadful like tape there. That I it's very unhigh tech, like the system I have for recording videos. Um would you support a redhead bond? Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah. Your favorite Steve McQueen film? I think I've only seen one. Uh or maybe I haven't. Maybe I've just like seen them through osmosis. Is it osmosis? Um what do you think about the Bond clothing style? Do you know the company Royale Filmware? No, I don't actually. Um, I'm not a I'm not a big fashionista, as you can probably tell. So um, I, I the fashion isn't is really not something that's um, on my mind, especially. Um, do you think Kevin Spacey would have been a good, good Blofeld? Quite possibly, actually. Like it's yeah. I mean, he was a really great actor, I think, and House of Cards certainly wasn't the same without him. Um, uh, of the references Dine of the Day makes to previous Bond films, can you name some favourites? Uh, I still like the... Um, this is your 20th, I believe. Uh, like, that that one's nice. But that film's just overloaded. Oh, no, no, and I like uh, when Graves says, um, well, diamonds are for everyone. Calvin is tall, slim, and dark, like Roger Moore's aunt. I think I've heard that from a Roger Moore. Oh, right, yes, yes, sorry. Yeah, so is my aunt, but yeah, sorry. That that went a bit slow in the upkeep there. Um, what are your thoughts on Hard Day's Night? The Beatles movie. I haven't seen it, I'm afraid. Um, no, sorry. Being a Brosnan fan, would you have preferred to see him in Casino Royale? <sighs> A part of me would love to travel to that alternate dimension where we have a Casino Royale starring Pierce Brosnan directed by Quentin Tarantino, but if that meant substituting the Casino Royale that we have, which is, like, god-tier Bond, then I, I, I don't think I would... I don't think I would go for that, actually. Um, have you ever watched Alias? No, I haven't. But that's female spy, isn't it? It's Jennifer Garner. Am I right, Vinny? Um... What Bond film would you choose to watch today? Well, today I am gonna watch, and I don't want to watch it, but because, like I've said, like I'm doing this re-ranking video, I've, I, I re-watched all the Bond films, like some of them for the first time in a while, but in a relatively close capacity. And I say clo close capacity, it was like six months ago, but um, yeah, the one that I never went back and re-watched was uh, Never Say Never Again, so that's what I'm gonna watch tonight. You know, gonna go make a tuna steak dinner and then watch Never Say Never Again. 
Actually, no, I should probably I should probably not have another one of these um, if I'm going to do that. Have you seen Jason Bend? It's a gay Bond spoof. No, I have not seen that. But uh, Jason Bend, that's like... Even, I mean, there are some corny names in Bond, but, you know, Jason Bend is, uh, yeah, on a whole other level. Casino Royale Skyfall. You'll have to tune in for my re-ranking video to find out. I'm a little bit Australian then. Opinion on Atomic Blonde. Um, liked it. Liked it quite. I love Charlize Theron. Uh, and yeah, I actually thought it was really good. I'd be open to seeing more of those, but, you know. We'll see. We'll see. Thoughts on Day of the Jackal? I'm, I've only, I think I've only seen the Bruce Willis one. Uh, but I know this one, I believe, with Edward Fox. Am I right? Uh... Didn't like the Bruce Willis one. Um, uh, what is your favorite Bond car chase? That's a good question. Um, Tomorrow Never Dies the, with the BMW in the car parking lot. I think that's really good. It's a very un-Bondian car, I think. It's very... Um, it just sort of looks like a family car, doesn't it? So... Uh, mm. Bit of lemon peel up me nose. Um, uh, Ian Fleming BBC miniseries. You're talking about the Dominic Cooper one there, Billy? Because that was, uh, yeah, I wasn't a fan. Uh, it was okay, but... Oh, I didn't realise Michael Lonsdale was in Day of the Jackal. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Oh, God, I saw some, like, really arty French film that uh, he was in. And he, he got his trousers off, and I saw his rear end, and I was looking at Hugo Drax's rear end, and it was really, um, yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't great. It wasn't great. What was that film called? I can't even remember. But yeah. You're not holding that glass with much sophistication. I don't know. How do you hold a glass with sophistication? Is that sophisticated? I don't know. I, I, I heard... Once that you're supposed to like hold glasses like that, so you don't warm up the uh, the contents. But I, uh... Phantom of Liberty, yes, yes, thank you, Chili Fan, yes, that's the one. That's the one where Michael Lonsdale gets his gets his ass at. What was the first Bond film you saw? It was Moonraker, and I think I was about nine, ten years old, something like that. And um, my auntie bought me the VHS because I was really into Star Wars. And she bought, because it was buy one, get one free, and she got that, and Diamonds Are Forever, in a two-for-one. And, uh, yeah, that's how it all started, really. Thank you, Auntie Angie. Is the invisible car in Dine of the Day a Martin? An Aston Martin? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, thoughts on the Beatles in general? Again, I'm not much of a music person, I'm afraid, so I don't really, uh... I mean, whenever I listen to them, it's with earmuffs. Um, yeah, no, I like, uh, I think I like the earlier stuff more from what I've heard. Um, hold your hand, hold my hand. Um, yeah, the earlier poppy stuff instead of when they really got into drugs and everything. Calvin, what does the character of Bond mean to you? Oh my god, that is a big question. Uh... Well, he's my childhood hero. He's my, you know, absolute, uh, uh, are you religious? No. No, I am not. Do you want to see more nudity in the Bond films? No. No, I don't think so. Uh, The Last Jedi thoughts. There's a question. Uh, I really didn't like The Last Jedi, um, for various reasons that, would probably require a whole of the YouTube channel to go through. Um, but yeah, I was... Would you do a video of your top 10 Bond cocktails? I fear it would become more and more entertaining as you work your way through the list. Well, I am actually thinking about making another one of these, but I need to nip to the kitchen. It, um, is it alright if I um, go grab the mixer and some ice and then come back in and uh, make another one? Um... I'd like, uh, why don't you like the Lord of the Rings films? That's a good question, Sam. Uh, 
I don't think I hate it. Oh, right. Okay, right. Yes, thank you. I will. Uh, thank you. I, sorry, I just saw all uh, people were saying like yes and thumbs up and stuff for me getting another getting another martini. So um, if anyone new joins, um, if people can tell them that I am coming back, but I'm coming back with alcohol, then that would be much appreciated. Calvin asks if it's all right to go somewhere in his own home. Well, I'm trying to be, you know, um, social. You you can instead all look at my my posters and my sort of radiator, electric radiator thing, which isn't terribly exciting. I'm trying to think of something else that you could all look at while I'm not here. Um, but there's nothing I can really prop up. I'm just going to go and get the alcohol. Right, I am back. I've got plenty of alcohol and I'm back. And fresh lemon peel as well. So, you know, no uh, no expense spared here. Right, so, for the Vespa Martini, we have some vodka. A little bottle of gin, because I don't usually drink gin, but um, someone got me these for Christmas. We have a cocktail mixer with ice. And we have some vermouth, which is substituting for um, the Kina Lille, um, because I couldn't find anything um, that would really substitute that. I hear that the French is a better substitute if you want to have a proper Vespa. This is Italian. Don't know about that. But anyway, yes. Um, so we're going to get started by pouring the entire contents of this gin bottle into the ice. It's supposed to be 60 milliliters. This is only 50, so I'll I'll make it up with something else, I guess. Um, so that's done. And then you want 20 milliliters of vodka. So that's just slightly less than a... Slightly less than a single measure of that. And then you just want, I think it's 10 milliliters of Kina Lille, so um, I'm just going to do a little dash of this. Uh, and high proof gin. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. I'm just putting a little bit more in of this because uh, I don't have the uh, appropriate amount of the same brand of gin. So, yeah. Okay. Right, so, bang on this. Now is when it all goes horribly wrong and I, like, spray it everywhere. Right. Fresh, oh no, fresh lemon peel goes in last, right? Okay. Anyway. Oh, that's cold. Okay, here we go. Here is another Vespa. Or another Calvin version of a Vespa, I guess. Um, and enjoy with a large, thin slice of lemon peel. And there we go, another Vespa. I'm good for, Lord, an hour's passed already. I'm enjoying this. Um, right, sorry, I'm just catching up with comments. Uh, duh, 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 duh. uh, could you do another bond ringing, please? Yes, I will be doing one on the 14th of February, or at least I hope so. Um, yeah. Anyway, cheers, everyone. Happy Sunday. I can't for work tomorrow. Have you seen Jaws? Yes, I have. And I love it. One of my very favorite films. My God, this is nice. Um... Slightly less lemony than my previous piece of lemon peel. Shaken or stirred, does it look like I care? But I do care. I do care. I want it shaken, actually. 
Uh, would you like to see Bond playing Baccarat again? Uh, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't really, I don't know. I, I know how to play Texas Hold'em, but I, I don't know if I know Baccarat. Um, I would like to. Cheers, Dan. Cheers. Uh, what do you work as? I work in children's television. I work in children's television, children's animation. Favorite Disney film? Uh, does The Nightmare Before Christmas count? Because it would be that one. Uh, worst Bond girl, Madeline Swan. Thoughts and Glorious Bastards, love it. Love that film. Favorite Bond girl name, Dr. Holly Goodhead. Cheers, Vinny. Uh, have you seen The Third Man? Love it. Yes, I have. Guy Hamilton, I believe, substitute... Uh, um, not substitutes, um, doubles for Orson Welles in some scenes in that. I think he was assistant director or something like that. Um, uh, favorite Vespa, Ursula Andres or Eva Green? My favorite Vespa is in my hand right now. And, and then Eva Green. What other mixed drinks do you like? Uh... Um, you, I like, I like a mint julep, actually. Um, if that, if that counts... Uh, cause I think it's, it's just bourbon and sugar, isn't it? Nice. Um, yeah, although I'm usually a whiskey drinker. Uh, so I, I like, uh, I mean, I was thinking like today I was going to have bourbon, no ice, but then I got these like little collection of gins for Christmas. So that was what facilitated having a Vespa instead. Odd job, Calvin. It is an odd job, uh, but I love it. It's nice. Uh, Bacardi and Coke. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. I prefer Jack Daniels and Coke. But... Have you seen Evil Under the Sun, directed by Guy Hamilton? And if so, do you like it? I haven't seen that, actually. I need to check out more of Guy Hamilton's work. Calvin, good to see you, as always. Thank you, James Bond. Uh, yeah, From Goldfinger, yes, yes. The Mint Julep is from Goldfinger. Uh, did you see Infinity War? I did, and I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a fan at all. Largely because, you know, everyone was, like, going crazy over the ending, and I'm like, well, they're obviously just gonna reverse it all back anyway, so it's just... Have you seen 24? Yes, I was a religious viewer of Channel 4. Um, I didn't watch the last series that Kiefer wasn't in, but all the other ones I kept up with and really, really loved. Um, yeah. Why was Sheriff J.W. buying that car in Thailand? I wish I could answer that, Daniel. I really wish I could answer that. But unfortunately, it's just one of those things that we're never going to know. We are never going to know. I like to think that Mrs. Pepper was like going off shopping or something. So Mr. Pepper, or Sheriff Pepper rather, was just sort of amusing himself and was just, you know, Hanging out in the car dealership. Um, uh, best worst movies of 2018. I don't know if I've seen that much to really constitute that. Uh, A Star is Born is probably up there for me, actually. I really like Star is Born. Has Thunderball grown on you recently? Oh, that is a good question because, like I, say, I was saying, I had to re-watch them for the um, re-ranking that I'm going to do. And it was the first time that I've watched Thunderball where I was like, I'm enjoying this experience. I like what I'm watching right now. And that doesn't mean that it's without uh, plot holes and stupid, boring scenes that go on for a while and terrible editing. Um, all that is still there. But... How it's photographed, it looks so good. And the music is great as well. I really like the music. Um, so I, it's certainly not going to be in my top 10. Al Ali, you've put 6 out of 10 there in the comment. I think that is, um, is fine. But it's not going to be in the end of Bond movies that I think are bad anymore. Um, which is, you know, yay, good for it. <laughs> Uh, Calvin, since you've read some of the books, would you like to see a remake of all the films in that order after Craig starting with the Blofeld trilogy? Uh, you know, I think it'd be really interesting. The ones that are the most loosely adapted 
uh, to the previous film, then I think that'd be really interesting. So, for example, a faithfully adapted Moonraker would be quite interesting. Um, I didn't like the Diamonds Are Forever book, but do a faithful adaptation of that, that could be a, a different thing. Ever seen Xena Warrior Princess? No, I haven't. No. Why didn't you like Largo? I think he's just a bit dull. I think he's a bit of a... Uh, I, I wish there was more to him. Um, but Calvin, you almost convinced me that Thunderball was bad. I watched it again the other day and loved it. Look, I, I think there are a lot of issues with it, but if you enjoy it, it's not one of those, like, because now... No, fair enough. Even if you enjoy Spectre, fair enough. But when I hear people like Spectre, I'm like, really? Really? You're one of those people? Those people? Um, what official film did you see last? Uh, the Spy Who Loved Me. I watched it last night. Brilliant. Love that film so much. It's one of my absolute favorites. Sheriff Pepper is a collector of foreign cars. He likes to pick them up on his travels as mementos. Don't you judge him. I'm not judging him. If he wants to bring cars back from his completely out-of-character holidays to Thailand, then he can do it. That's fine. What would you say to the start of The Man with the Golden Gun, Bond being brainwashed and killing M, serve as a pre-title sequence of the next Bond actor? Thank you for that spoiler for the novel, Matthew. That's much appreciated. No, no, no. Um, no, the, well, that sounds interesting. Uh, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Favorite movie villain of all time? Uh, you, um, Psycho's my favorite movie, so Norman Bates was the first thing that came to my mind, but I don't know if he constitutes as a villain, really, because he's incredibly sympathetic, I think. Moonraker, the book, doesn't have anything to do with outer space, right? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. The Moonraker in that is a supposed to be a... Uh, like, nuclear atomic um, war uh, missile defense system for Britain that Hugo Drax is uh, defending, uh, 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 creating to defend um, England. These are going to my head, sorry. Um, I should do more of these. This is an excuse to get drunk, really, on a Sunday night, isn't it? This is definitely going to have to be my last one of the evening, that's for sure. Who do you think should be the next M? That is a very good question. I don't think we'll know for another um, few years who should be the next M. I'm a bit disappointed that they ended up with Ray Fiennes just because I would have preferred them to have something different. Um, and, and that's I think I think that's why I love Judy Dench because she brought a lot to the part, and having a woman as M was a big deal, and um, I, I think that worked really well. Um, you Ray finds I'm kind of, I, I'm still not wholly convinced on, but, you know. Do you like The Dark Knight? Yes, I do. Yes. I'm actually, I, I don't really like superhero films much, but, uh, Batman and X-Men, I really like. Have you seen any of the Spy Kids films? I think I've seen two when I was a kid, or when I was a, a young teenager, I suppose. Um... Have, do you play many video games? Kind of, uh, I, I, yeah, sometimes. Um, mainly Nintendo. I have a Nintendo DS and Nintendo Switch, and those are my favorite um, games. So Mario, Pokemon, I will play religiously. Uh, would Kate Winslet be a good M? I love that suggestion, actually. Yeah, that's really good. Kate Winslet, yeah. I, I'm, I'm game for that. Do you think the Bond films are ever, will ever stop? I hope not. But the worst thing about knowing you're going to die is that I'll die and then there'll be more Bond films after that. So maybe they can keep on making them until I'm about to die, and then I would prefer them to stop because I don't want to miss out. Did you watch Killing Eve? Yes, and I loved Killing Eve. Killing Eve was fantastic. If it's still on BBC iPlayer, everyone should go and see it. Um, do you prefer Austin Powers or Johnny English? Johnny English. Uh, I like the first Austin Powers film. The the other two, I really wasn't that into. Maybe I'll, I maybe I'll get to it at some point on this channel. Um, which M is the most angry? Uh, oh, Bernard Lee in uh, the Man with the Golden Gun is pretty crusty. I'm gonna go with Bernard Lee, or maybe Judy Dench. Judy Dench is also quite angry in a lot of them. Um, Robert Brown is probably the least angry. Um, do you have the new Smash Brothers? I do, yeah. 
Uh, really good game. Really, really love it. Um, Tomorrow Never Dies or Twine PS1 review? Yes, yes. After 007 Racing, I think I get to those. Um, you've got plenty more years than you, Calvin. Well, I am 30. I'm 30 and I'm drinking Vespers on a Sunday night. I don't know how much my liver can take. Who was it earlier on that said I was holding my martini in a very unrefined way? Like, how are you supposed to hold a martini? Is it... Is that good? That's not good. That's horrible. If I could get a comment about, like, finger placement, that'd be... Uh, yeah, actually, no, I'm not going to finish that sentence. Um, uh, is Spectre your least favorite Bond film? It's my least favorite official Bond film, for sure. It's, and I'll tell you why. It's um, when I was rewatching it recently, I was like, most Bond films, like when they get played on television, uh, there's always a bit where if you're like skimming channels and you're like, oh, I wonder if Octopussy is at that bit, and then uh, if it is a like a bit that you like, you'll sit and watch it for the you know for that scene at least, and. With every other Bond film, there is a bit where I'm like, oh, right, yeah, I'll, le I'll leave this on for 10 minutes and watch this scene, and then I'll carry on with whatever I'm doing. Um, with Spectre, there's none of that. There is nothing, there is no scene in it, no action scene, no dialogue scene, that I'm like, oh, yes, I will keep this on the television and watch it. The uh, uh, At best... I like the title song, so I would watch the title sequence. And then there was another bit um, when it's my favorite bit of music in it by Thomas Newman, and I cannot remember what the track is called on the album, um, but it's when the cars are um, chasing around... Um, uh, uh, there's the car chase with between Hinks and Bond, and there's a particular bit of music that plays... Sorry, I'm just like looking at my iTunes right now, because it'll annoy me if I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it is... Ah! Uh, backfire. Backfire. There's a bit where there's this full choir that come in and do the big, like, bond theme choir thing, and it's only about ten seconds, but I love that. If that was on TV, I'd watch that. Outside of that, uh, there's nothing else in Spectre that I really enjoy. All the action sequences are tepid. Um... I, 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 there's no drama that I'm invested in. I think it's a, a pretty bad film, really. Um, I think Spectre is worse than Quantum. I'd agree with that, actually. And Quantum used to be my least favorite. <laughs> this is what I find weird about the Daniel Craig films: is that Skyfall and Casino Royale are like god tier Bond movies, and Quantum of Solace and Spectre are like at the absolute worst. And I, I don't know how that happens. Thoughts on Back to the Future? Love that series. It's another great, great movie series, great classics. What artist would you like to see do a Bond song? Someone asked this earlier on, um, Brand New Start, and it's Lady Gaga. I would love to see Lady Gaga do uh, do a Bond theme. I'm actually a really big fan of hers. Um, will you review any more Bond comics? I probably will uh, at some point. I've got more of the collections. I don't really buy them on an issue-by-issue -issue basis anymore, just because there are a lot of them. And, um, quite difficult to track down on an issue by issue basis. So I buy the compilations like once the whole thing is done. Um, I have a theory every other Bond film is great. I mean, you're on to something there because I was thinking like, um, yeah, World is Not Enough, love, Dine of the Day, don't love, um, Casino Royale, love, um, Quantum of Solace, really don't love, uh, Skyfall, love, Spectre, don't love. So certainly for the past few years, um, it's been that way for me anyway. Have you seen Inside Number 9? Bit of a fan of anthology shows, as you can tell. I have seen Inside Number 9, actually, and I love it. Yeah, again, it's it's another it's another great... I, I, I like my anthology horror series, I think. Um, you know, Twilight Zone. Um, it's all good. Uh, thoughts on the Jurassic Park film series? Love Jurassic Park. Hate The Lost World. Average... Jurassic Park 3, and Jurassic World, I love. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I also love. Um, yeah. So it was a pretty good series, really. Let me spill a little bit of martini there. Uh, 
Do you play any instruments? No, I'm sorry, I'm a really unmusical person. Uh, sorry. Uh, should Purvis and Wade leave the series by now? Oh, with them it's always tough. It's like what we were just talking about with like odd and even Bond films and like good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. It's like they they've got writing credits on all of them, and I know that how the process works. I know that it is not just those two. Or, or even just the credited writers working on those scripts. I know that there's an awful lot of other people involved throughout the process. Um, so it's hard to tell what is and what isn't their lines. In fact, I was listening to, uh, this morning I was listening, because I watched The Spy Who Loved Me again last night, and I was listening to the audio commentary, and I love Christopher Wood on those audio commentaries. If you haven't heard them, you really should, because he's just like so... He talks in this very Shakespearean, like very, oh yes, I'm a I'm a writer, I'm an artist, like sort of voice. And then every now and then he does them with like um the Spider Love Me commentary is him and Lewis Gilbert, Michael G. Wilson, the producer, and uh Ken Adam. And every now and then there's a line that happens and they all like, was that one of yours, Christopher? And he's like, No, 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 it wasn't mine, it wasn't mine. And I'm like, Oh, okay, that's good to know that you're quick to step away from the lines that weren't, uh, very good. Um, right. Uh, have you seen the office UK US? I've seen the UK office. I haven't seen the, the US office. Um, but I love Parks and Rec and I know it's a, it's a similar thing. Jacob, love that you love your channel. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Uh, I haven't seen Luther yet, actually. Um, uh, Oh, sorry. Uh, do you like The Saints and The Persuaders? I have seen a little bit of The Saints, and I haven't seen The Persuaders. So, yeah. Favourite Inside documentary by Patrick McNee? That's a good question. Uh, I don't know, actually. I think they're all on, on a par, really. They're all pretty great. Mm. I'm still really disappointed that we don't have inside documentaries for GoldenEye and, um, you know, from GoldenEye onwards, really. Um, the bonus features on the Spectre Blu-ray were just dreadful. Really, really bad. They just don't care anymore, I guess, is the is the problem. Um, when will you review the delicatessen in stainless steel that Blofeld was going to give Bond? You know what, Master of the West, if you want to send me... A stainless steel delicatessen. I will review it on my channel. It would be my pleasure. Uh, what's a delicatessen in stainless steel? Exactly, Brian. Exactly. What is it? It's what Blofeld offers to... I don't know if you're... If you know this already or not, but it's what Blofeld offers to Bond in order to spare his life in the pre-credit sequence of Fior Eyes Only, which is, uh... Yeah. An interesting bargaining chip. Do you like The Avengers with Patrick McNee? And if so, why? I don't... I haven't actually seen it. Uh, so that's... Um, yeah, another gap in my 60s culture knowledge. Rolex or Omega? I mean, honestly, if I had a choice, I would pick Rolex. But I know that Omega is Bond's watch, so... Um, most delis have glass cases now. That's true. It's a shame, really. It's a lost art. Will you review will you review Colonel Sun? Yes, I will. Um, eventually. Like I was saying, I'm gonna work through the books in a chronological order, so eventually I will get there, but for right now. Um for right now I'm still on Fleming. Sorry, I just cheers the mic then. Um Have you ever been to the Netherlands? No, I haven't, actually. Uh, but I would like to. I would like to very much. Do you think Henry Cavill would be a good bond? Uh I wouldn't want him to do it, but he might be okay. I'd prefer either James Norton or Richard Madden, for sure. Henry Cavill, I just think, is a little bit uh, wooden. Uh, yeah. 007 Legends review is going to be coming on the, uh, yes, the 27th of this month. So oh, tune in. Do you... God, Sam, I thought your que your question was then, do you have any friends? But no, it's, do you like friends? <laughs> and yeah, I love friends. My sister is like one of the biggest Friends fans out there. And she, yeah, so I, I know that series quite well. I love it. Though Frasier is my favorite American sitcom. That was a question that no one asked. I just thought I'd tell you all. Um, 
Uh, Faulty Towers, yes, I love Faulty Towers. That is my favorite British sitcom by a mile. I love Faulty Towers, it's brilliant. Will you review the novelizations of the films? Yeah, sure. Uh, um, yeah, if, if they're easily accessible, like that's part of my worry about like going in some of the further Bond literature is like whether or not I'll actually um, be able to get my hands on it. Uh, feeling tipsy, Calvin. Yes. Yes, Tom Tom Frazier is awesome. This is like, I don't know, but they save these live videos on your channel after you're done, don't they? I think. Um, it's going to be interesting. I'm not going to, not that I'm going to watch it back, but uh, just to see uh, my level of, uh, yeah, drunkenness as this goes on. I'm going to, I'm going to finish this and then I'll head off. I'm um, going to have to get some dinner, I'm afraid. Um but this has been fun, actually. I've really enjoyed this. I was so nervous, actually, like, coming into it. Um, like, when I was sort of, uh, yeah, half an hour, I was like, oh, this is, I've never done a live stream before. That's really weird. Uh, but this is actually really nice. I, I like this. It's fun. And thanks for joining. Yeah. It's nice. Thank you. For, you know, joining on your Sunday afternoon. Evening. Could you make some kind of video together with Dutch Bond fan? I actually really love uh, Dutch Bond fans' content, and uh, yeah, we chat every now and then. And it's, uh, I think, I'm more open to like doing podcasts these days because I, I did do like a video collaboration years ago, which was really fun to do, and I really liked it. But I don't know if um, if I could get like in the same room with Dutch Bond fan, and then we just have a very unscripted conversation about Bond films. I would love that. Uh, but I, I don't know if, yeah, I wouldn't want to do anything too scripted, and most of the videos on my channel are scripted, so it would be more of a, yeah, I don't know, more of a off-the-cuff discussion that I would enjoy having. Uh, no need to be nervous, you're a natural, you're very kind, Vinny, very kind. That's actually, that's really sweet, thank you for that, it's lovely. Monty Python and the Holy Grail I love. Yeah, it's great. Can you say hi hello, Tom Holland? <clears throat> Hello, Tom Holland. Hallam. Hello, Tom Hallam. Hello, Tom Hallam. Sorry. Uh, are you a fan of Westerns? Not really, actually. It, it's funny that that's a, a, a movie category all, until it, on, all unto its own. But I'm, yeah, I'm just not a big fan. Uh, have you seen Mrs. Doubtfire? Yes, and Pierce Brosnan is brilliant in it. Love it. You should go to Holland and meet with him. Well... Mr. Cucumber Snatch, if you want to facilitate that trip, that would be fine. Um, yeah. Thoughts on the good, the bad, and the ugly? Very long. Very, very long. Uh, but good. Great movie. Great movie. Uh, Holy Grail is better than Life of Brian. I would agree with that. Uh, just watch both Monty Pythons. Love them. Have you seen Animal House? I don't think I have. Will you do Bond film or commentaries? I I would love to do it, but I think it's the kind of thing that you have to do with someone else. I don't think it could just be me. I mean, my voice is already going now after having talked for an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, but that could also be the alcohol taking effect. So I don't know. Have you been to Dublin? No, I haven't. What do you think about Brexit? Uh, we won't talk about that. Um, have you ever tried to watch all the Bond films in one go, have a Bond marathon? No, I haven't, but it's something that I've thought about doing, but if, if I were to do it, it would have to be for something. So I was thinking, like, if I, um, if there was, ever, you know, ever, uh, I, if ever I felt a need to raise money for charity, for example, and I was looking for sponsorship, that is something that I think I would do, uh... But, yeah, it would have to be for some kind of cause, because otherwise it's like watching, well, 24 official movies, 26, including the unofficial, and then an extra hour added on for the Casino Royale television show from the 50s, if you want to include that. Um, it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. A massiver or good head? Good head. Always good head. Uh, uh, no politics, please. Yes, I quite agree. <laughs> Can I 
Calvin Dyson will return. The reviewer who did another live video. Well, I like to think that I will do. Well, I mean, thank you all for making this so lovely. Like, like I was saying, like, when I was coming into this, I was a bit like, don't know how this is gonna go. And, um, I think it's, it's been really nice. So thank you. Everyone's been really sweet. I put this on my Twitter, um, recently, actually, the, I feel like I, I've been on YouTube for like, oh God, it's nearly 10 in fact, it might actually be 10 years now. Um, and I know that it, 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 there's a lot of negative uh, connotations with doing such a thing. And uh, you get a lot of... You open yourself up to a lot of negative experiences. And I have not had that. Apart from people complaining about my teeth before I had them um, straightened. Um, other than that, I've never really had any... And the occasional, you know, comment from someone dreadful um my experiences on the whole been really great like it's been so lovely this whole thing it's been great anyway sorry uh, that, that was a bit of a love-in um but thank you all you're all great um favorite pink panther film pink panther strikes again pleasure to drink with you we finish people drink a lot hey hey i had some mulled wine from uh finland over christmas and it was the best mulled wine i have ever had it was brilliant really really lovely do you like porridge with ronnie barker i haven't seen much of porridge actually i love open all hours um come dyson will return in dyson mons are forever live and let dyson golden dyson golden dyson that'd be fun uh, where do you think the Bond series would have gone if they made another film in the vein of Dino the Day rather than rebooting? That is a good question. Well, I like these, like, to say in documentaries and stuff, like, Pierce Brosnan's films were on, like, an upward slant when it came to in, money made. So, I, I don't know if, uh, if another one would have lost money. I think it was the right thing to do to reboot when they did. They often do it at the right moment. Um... And though I don't really like For Your Eyes Only. Well, no, no, I do. I like it. I do. It's my least favorite Roger Moore one. Um, but it came at the right time. On a Magic Secret Service came at the right time. Casino Royale came at the right time. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at this. What is your opinion on the Psycho remake? You've got good questions tonight, Sam. Thank you for these. Uh, I... Really, Psycho is my favorite movie if you're just joining. So that question was, I'm assuming, in relation to that. Um, I used to hate the Psycho remake, the Gus Van Sant remake. And then some, I read, I think it was now playing podcasts that I was listening to. And they talked about how um, if you view it from the standpoint of, um, it's like an Andy Warhol uh, interp reinterpretation of something. So Andy Warhol, Andy Warhol took a picture of Marilyn Monroe did it four times in different colors and then it's art um and the psycho remake is kind of that it's taking something and slapping some color on it doing things a little bit differently and then it exists so i think as an experiment it's quite interesting but as something to enjoy it's uh so as something to enjoy as a piece of entertainment it's dreadful Thoughts on the Bond Steelbooks? I love them i love them if i'd have had the finance at the time i would have totally got them all but yeah. At the moment, I've just got Skyfall and Spectre. I will always opt for the Steelbook for a new release, for sure. Fiora is only was boring and forgettable. I mean, I... Yeah, I... Ugh, it's pretty low in my ranking. D did you like Eli Wallach in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly? I did. I thought he was brilliant, actually. He was my favourite actor in that. Have you seen the Psycho sequels? Yes. Love Psycho 2. Don't like Psycho 3. I think Psycho 4 is okay. And I really like Bates Motel as well. Um, Caroline Bliss or Samantha Bond as Money Penny? Always Samantha Bond. Always. Have you seen Pretty Little Liars? Pretty Little Liars? No, I haven't. No. I know it's a HBO show and I'm thinking about getting Sky soon. So, yeah, we'll see. Um, shouldn't you be plugging the Diminishing Returns pod, seeing as half the films you've mentioned have been on there? Yes, everyone, I also do a podcast called Diminishing Returns. I'm not a, a regular contributor to it anymore, but I do occasionally return. Uh, how much do you like the Honor Majesty Secret Service title theme? I love it. I think it's brilliant. 
That was an Alien franchise. Oh, one of my very favorite movie franchises. I love the Alien films. Alien... Oh, actually, yeah, Alien is in my, like, top ten movies of all time. Aliens, not a fan. Alien 3, I think, is a wonderfully twisted drama. Alien Resurrection, I think, is an hilarious black comedy. Um, Prometheus is a weird, like, sort of idea-inspiring movie, and Alien Covenant is fun. So that's my review of that series. Calvin, how can I watch your podcasts? Andy, you can Google diminishing returns and if you and you will find the website i suppose i don't maintain it but um what's a bond theme everyone praises but you hate then also one people hate but you love okay this is good i really like tomorrow never dies and i feel like that's often one that's hated on a bond film that everyone praises but you hate uh, i've said before i'm not a massive fan of Goldfinger? I love belting out on a karaoke, don't get me wrong, but, uh, yeah, aside from that, thank you for that, I'm Emperor Tiger Star. I'm not quite sure why you have a tick next to your name, whereas no one else does, but, um, do I have a tick next to my name? Oh, I just realized I can top chat. Oh, right, some messages, like, spam may not be visible, that's fine. Sorry, I'm just looking at the settings now, this is the first time I've done this, so... Not a fan of aliens. No, I know, and that's probably an unpopular opinion. I think it's quite bland compared to the rest of the Alien franchise, which might not be as well-constructed as entertainment, but the ideas that they present are much more interesting than what I get from that. I found Alien Covenant very disappointing. That's a shame, because it was like it was pretty much everything that I wanted from a Prometheus sequel. Uh, and I, I, I loved it. How can you not like aliens? Oh god, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I'm just gonna get slaughtered for that. Emperor Tiger Star, again, you have a tick next to your name and your name thing is highlighted. I don't know why, also, View to a Kill is best theme. I do love View to a Kill. Brilliant song. Darling, I'm killed, I'm in a puddle on the floor. That is actually one of my favourite Bond lyrics. Um... Yeah. Uh, love that. Do you like Terminator and T2? Yeah, yeah. I love the stop motion animation in the first Terminator. I know some people hate on it, but I really like it. Will you do a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang video? You know what? I've had half a review of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang written for about four years. And I was going to do it as like a Christmas special. Um, but I just never got around to finishing it. Partly because I didn't know if people would care, but I do love that movie. Um, yeah. What area of London are you from? I mean, I'm not I'm, I'm not from London, but I live in London. I'm from uh, Wimbledon. It's because he's famous. Hmm. There we go. Are you seeing Glass next week? I would quite like to. It depends. I don't go to the cinema as much as I like to these days. Have you ever seen Grey's Anatomy? No, but I've seen Charles Grey's Anatomy. This second <laughs> martini's taking effect. Have you ever wanted to get an Aston DB5 car? Yes, yes, good lord, I would love one. But do you like Blackadder? Uh, I've only seen the series where they're in the trenches. I think that's the last one, isn't it? But I do need to watch more. Um, for sure. Uh, just a jump to the left, and then a step to the right. Can we see more shark episodes on Diminishing Returns? <laughs> I love shark movies as well, for anyone who doesn't listen to that podcast. Sorry, I just keep looking at the viewing, uh, how many people are watching this. I'm... Oh, sorry, I'm just, I've got, uh, oh, I've got comments on, um... Uh, my Facebook post that I said about this. Uh... Oh, there's comments on there from people. Um, what is your favorite anniversary Bond movie in 2019? On a Majesty's Service Moonraker license to kill the world's not enough. Um, it would be the world is not enough. Um, when do you think we'll be getting an announcement surrounding Bond 25? Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be just before shooting begins. So uh, probably in a couple of months. Um, what else is there? 
Started watching IT since you mentioned it, Calvin. Lol. <laughs> nice. Uh, I have not read Carte Blanche, the um, novel, um, but I would like to get around there, get around to it eventually. Um, yeah. Okay, great. Sorry, I'm back on the YouTube um, stream now. Uh, darling, you've won. It's no fun. Martinis, girls, and guns. It's murder on our love affair. Yes. Yes. Love those lyrics. Wait, you have a Facebook? Yes, I do. You can search for, um, Calvin Bond Reviewer, and you can like me on there. And, uh, I, I post updates every now and then, so it, it might be of interest. Um, I don't know. You excited for Star Wars 9? Yes, I'm hugely excited for Star Wars 9. Very, very excited. Despite not really liking the last Jedi, the last Jedi very much. Have you ever listened to Q the Music Show videos? Yes, um, I really like them actually, and um, I'm Facebook friends with. Oh, sorry, hit the mic. Um, I'm Facebook friends with Warren from Q the Music, and he's a really lovely guy. I would love to get to one of those shows eventually, um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, doesn't your housemate worry you have a muscular man on your wall? I don't have a housemate. I live alone, so no one's gonna mind that I got a muscular man on my wall. Do you like Bill Murray? Yes, I do. Do you like Tim Burton Batman films? Yes, I do. Batman Returns is my favorite Batman movie. Do you think Jeremy Irons should play a Bond villain? I think he could. I don't know if he should. Um, yeah. Why did you change your username from Calvin Dyson Bond Review to Calvin Bond Reviewer? Uh, I guess just because for a while I was kind of like, I wish I'd come onto YouTube with an alias rather than just using my actual name, which was probably quite a bad decision um, on my part. But, uh, you know, I, th I also wanted a name that kind of explained what I did more. So that's why I end ended up adding the Bond Reviewer thing on there. Um, yeah, yeah. Cue the music will be in Piz Gloria for the- Oh, I didn't realize they were doing something for the 50th anniversary of Majesty's Secret Service. That's really cool. This might be my time to visit Piz Gloria then. I've never been before. Uh... How would you rank the actors? I'm- I can't say, like, I would need to do, like, a whole- big long dissertation to answer something like that. Can you dance and lip sync to the time warp? <laughs> I was nervous enough about just coming on and just talking, never mind um singing. Calvin, would you ever audition to play James Bond? I don't think they'd take me, unfortunately. Um nor do I think anyone would like me as Bond. But, you know, if they ever want me to be, like, you know, Q's background lab assistant who, like, looks weird when Bond sets off a gadget, I could do that. I think that's the part I was born to play. Um, would you sign autographs if fans would meet you? Oh my god, yes, that would be... I would love that. That would be more pleasure for me than anyone else. Um... Not that anyone ever... Actually, every now and then, like, some... Every every now and then it does happen where someone will, like, recognize me from YouTube, and it's, it's, it's always really nice. It, like, happened once on the tube when... This was years ago now, but someone recognized me and, like, shook my hand, and I was a bit drunk at the time, because it was quite late, um, but I was like, you know, it, it was great, because I got onto the tube then and sat down, and then everyone else was like, oh, who's that? He must be a celebrity. And it's like, no, I just have a relatively small YouTube channel where I talk about James Bond. Um, and then recently I was in Brighton and someone like recognized me and it was just, yeah, yeah. I, I really like it. It's always, it's just nice. It's, you know, I like it anyway. I have an ego. So I was just dropping the few last drops of gin into my Vespa Martini. Um, <laughs> You do look like the new Q quite a bit. My stepmom does think that if we're watching a Bond film and Ben Wishaw comes on, she'll be like, oh, hey up, Calvin's here. That was my attempt at Geordie accent, but it sounded more Scottish. It was quite bad, really. Um, Q's assistant should be called you. You can't have Q without a U. I love that. Oh, my God. That's brilliant. Best actress who's played a Bond girl. Eva Green, for sure. Definitely. If each James Bond actor got into a fight, who would die first and who would win? 
brilliant. I think Pierce Brosnan would die... No, Timothy Dalton would die first. Then Roger Moore. Then Pierce, then George. Then Daniel, then Sean. I think Sean would be the winner. If there was a big fight to the death between all six Bonds, Sean would win. Moore would fight his way out with charm and eyebrow razors. Well, yes, he would. Uh... Uh, Calvin is turning 30 this year. Happy birthday. Thank you, Tom. Much appreciated. Uh, do you like Doctor Who? You know what? I've got more, like, followers on Twitter of Doctor Who fans than anything else. And there does seem to be some kind of correlation between Doctor Who fans and Bond fans. But personally, I'm not a massive fan. I tried watching the most recent series, and I was always really enjoying it. And then Aliens would come in, and then I'd be like... Uh, not a huge fan, but yeah, I did watch all of Christopher Eccleston and David Tennant's tenure. Um, so yeah, I saw all of that, and then Matt Smith I really didn't like, so I didn't watch him, and I really like Jodie Whittaker, but again, it's just, it's bad that it's the alien stuff that turns me off, and that's kind of the whole point of Doctor Who, so that's why I haven't really kept up with it. Do you like Eli Wallach? Yes, I do. I think he's great. Do you think Pierce Brosnan would still be good as Bond if he was back even Bond 25? Uh, can't believe you're 30. Yes, thank you. Uh, Marco Connell, writer of Catching Bullets, does YouTube clubs with Oliver Harper. You should see if he'd do a Bond chat with you. Oh my god, I'd love that. Yeah, no, I'm Facebook friends with Mark. We were going to meet up recently, actually, for a for a drink, but um, yeah, hasn't happened yet. No, should do. Um... Anyway, sorry, do you think Pierce Brosnan would still be good if he was back as Bond? Uh, I think he might have gotten worse as an actor since he left being Bond. And I think you can start to see the decline in Die Another Day. Uh, I think he gives his best performance of the series in The World Is Not Enough. Um, and in GoldenEye Tomorrow Never Dies, he's phenom phenomenal. But a lot of his movies, I just kind of, yeah, I can't take it seriously because it's Pierce Brosnan hamming it up. Um, would love a Mamma Mia review. Well, I might well get to it because, like I was saying earlier on, I'm thinking of doing a Patreon um, thing where people can vote on, like, sort of side reviews that I would do alongside the regular um, content I make for this channel. So, um... Yeah, and one of the things that I was kind of, like, planning out would be, should I look at, like, you know, very good and very bad movies from each Bond actors? Um, do you listen to James on radio often? You should go on it for an interview. If they'd have me, I would totally go on. Um, I do, actually. I, I, I really like um, James on radio. It's, yeah, it's really good. And the amount of detail they go into over the course of the reviews, I find really interesting and geeky, which is perfect for me. Um, yeah, no, I, re I really, really do love James Bond Radio. I would love to go on it, but I, I don't know if, uh, I mean, they get, like, proper people from the movies to interview, so I don't know if they'd necessarily want to interview, you know, fans, um, like myself. Uh, have you seen Airplane? Yes, and I love it. Favorite film from 2018? Probably A Star Is Born. I loved that. Big Gaga fan. I think that might be my fourth shout out to Gaga this podcast so podcast a live stream live stream uh have you ever seen quadrophenia no i haven't i don't know what it is i'm afraid um david attenborough's next bond villain brilliant david attenborough's the next bond is better what is your current job i currently work in children's television so that is that is my job Opinions on You Know My Name, one of my favorite Bond songs. I love it. Brilliant. Um, love that song. It's a great shower song. I listen to it in the shower quite a bit. Favorite pastry? Well, Innes, you have successfully uh, won the award for the most random question. The uh, If you'd given me a million years to think of what question you were going to ask, I would never have thought of that. Now I'm going to say I'm not a massive fan of pastry. So there we go. Of savory pastry anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry about that. Not a sausage roll fan. 
Um, have you ever seen the Cornetto trilogy with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost? Yes, I have. And um, really like Shaun of the Dead. Love Hot Fuzz. Really hated, um, oh, was it World's End? Whatever that last one was, I hated it. Have you ever seen Taffin with Brosnan and Alison Doody? I haven't seen Taffin, but I know full well that maybe you shouldn't be living here. Bit, which is great. What does your job in TV involve? It's um, it, it, like reading a lot of scripts and uh, looking at animation and um, all that. How dare you not like pastry? I'm sorry, Oliver. My dad said you look 18. Thank you, Tom Patton's dad. Can you say horse's ass in Russian? Ah, oh. no, I can't. Horse's ass. That's that's that, that's a Russian accent. That wasn't actually in Russian, but yeah. Have your thoughts on license to kill changed? Yes, actually, quite a bit. Um, I think you will. Um, yeah, uh, be quite surprised where it comes in my new ranking when I eventually put that up. Uh, next month. Um, ever been to the States? Yes, several times. Um, yeah. Are you a fan of Last Crusade with Sean Connery as Indy's dad? I Last Crusade is my favorite Indiana Jones movie. I love it. Uh have you seen the musical Tommy? No, I haven't. Have you ever been on TV? No. And I know it's a shame, right? Uh, do you like Hannibal? The series? Yes, the movie, no. Will you ever grow a beard? No. Who's your favorite Game of Thrones character? Mine's John. Uh, oof. That's tough when it comes to Game of Thrones. Uh, Varys, I love. Hey, Calvin, me and my dad watched all the Bond films in order, and every time he'd order a martini, we'd pause the film and make ourselves a martini to watch for the remainder of the film. Oh, I love that. That's cool. We built this city on sausage rolls. Thank you for your valuable contribution, Aaron. That's a... Uh, that's that's great. Do you still get ID'd? Yes, I do. I do. I got ID'd. Sorry again, cheers in the microphone. Um, I got ID'd at the end of last week for some cigarettes that I was buying, and um, I was at Tesco's, and the lady was like, "I'm so you know, I didn't think she was going to ask me. I'm nearly thirty, for goodness' sake." And uh, she was like, "ID," and I was like, "Sorry." She was like, "ID." It was behind one of those glass things with some little holes in it. Um, and then she took my ID and looked at it, and then like threw her head back in uproarious laughter and then handed it back to me and kept like shouting 1989 at me and I was like okay well I suppose thank you cheers to the microphone again um you must wear a bond suit again for your new reviews Calvin still need to get a tux do you smoke I smoke occasionally often with drink If you don't like sausage rolls, does that include Greg's? I can't say. I don't think I've ever bought anything from Greg's. Maybe I've bought an iced finger from Greg's, but that's about it. Um, that's a compliment. A good thing. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. Much appreciated. Have you ever played Red Redemption 2? No, I haven't. No. Have you seen a, the comedy about a bank robbery? I don't know what that is. Is that the title or is it just a comedy about a bank robbery? Oh no, Calvin, give those cigarettes up. Yes, 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 no. Yes. How's the martini? The martini's great. Martini is great. Who would win, Jaws or Jaws the Shark? I'm going to say Jaws from the movie. Oh, as in Richard Keel, Jaws. Will you still be alive for the 100th anniversary of Doctor No? No, if I don't... Oh wait, yeah, the 100th anniversary of Doctor No? Yeah, I'll be alive for that, I think. Unless that's a threat, Tom Patton. Uh, 1989, he was born for License to Kill. Another reason to look back. Well, my recent re-watching, re I did really love. So, film noir I love. Yes, Vinny, yes. What's your favorite flavor of crisps? Thank you, Mr. Cumber Snatch. Cucumber Snatch. Um, prawn cocktail. Prawn cocktail. Uh, preferred cigarette brand, uh, Winston, uh, capsules, uh, where you click them and where you click them and they become menthol, uh, my preferred choice of cigarettes. Do you smoke inside? God, no. Uh, have you been to Newcastle? Yeah, my stepmom's a Geordie. My dad lives up in Newcastle. So I go there quite a bit. Love it. Love Newcastle. Um, 
I plan on being alive. Yes, thank you. I'm, I'm glad that someone appreciated that. Do you like Indiana Jones? Yes, love Indiana Jones. Fav uh, in, uh, Last Crusade is my favorite film. Favorite beer? I don't drink beer. Uh, I usually, if I'm out, I often drink whiskey. Uh, whiskey in a mixer or whiskey and coke or, uh, you know, vodka martini. I mean, this is a Vespa, but, you know. Um, or I drink wine. Beer is like the last thing I tend to go for, if I'm honest. This is the best live stream I've ever seen. Andy, thank you. You make this all worthwhile. Smoking is awesome. I quite agree, Jesse. I quite agree. It's a shame it kills you, but apart from that, did you know that James Bond was actually considered to be in Super Smash Brothers Melee due to the GoldenEye game being popular? Really? That would actually be brilliant. Oh my god, if they could get Pierce Brosnan and James Bond in Super Smash Brothers, that would be phenomenal. Whiskey or whiskey? Whiskey without an E, I think? Uh... Have you seen 2018 Slenderman? No, I haven't, but I would quite like to. I do kind of have a bit of a soft spot for that kind of tween horror. Is this your first live stream? Yes, it is. Can you not tell? Can you, can you not tell? Does your partner like Bond? He, I mentioned this earlier on, I've shown him two. I've shown him Skyfall and Casino Royale. Skyfall, he liked very much. Um, he's a he really likes Judy Dench. Um, and then I showed him Casino Royale because we're going to go to um, the Secret Cinema Casino Royale next year. And I thought, you need to see this before you before we go there because you need to have some idea of what's going on. Um, and he liked that more than Skyfall, which really surprised me. I was very shocked. Um, but yeah, I, I yeah. so I, I've shown him two. Golden Eye will be the next one, probably. He's also seen a lot of um, bits of... The world is not enough because that's often my go-to Bond movie for some reason. Have you ever played the Resident Evil franchise? I tried to play Resident Evil Four, but it was a, I'm not very good with scary video games. I love scary movies. Most of my favorite films are horror movies and thrillers and that kind of thing. I love that, but when you put me in it and I'm playing it, it's too much. I can't take it it's um yeah so i yeah i've not gone much further with the resident evil series what's your favorite food or meal i love me some fish and chips to be honest but from a proper fish and chip shop now not one of these that you go to and all oh, they do a pizza as well and a curry and a beef burger and whatever you want somewhere that just does purely fish and chips and they own it uh, don't show him yet if you do a kill. I won't, Brian. You should play Alien Isolation. Alien Isolation is the only scary video game I've been able to play to completion. And, uh, yeah. And I loved it. I love, well, I love the Alien movies. So, Thoughts on the Shining, brilliant movie. Love it. What is your favorite Western? Uh, does Back to the Future 3 count? I think it does. Fish and Milk, Baza Studios. Who, right, yeah, yeah. You know my... My grandma used to make me a dish called fish and milk when I was a kid, and it's still one of my uh, favorite things to eat. Yes. It's like cereal, except it's warm, and with fish instead of cereal. It's great, honestly. It's really nice. Favorite YouTube channel? Um, Lindsay Ellis. I She's my absolute favorite. To call her a YouTuber sounds... Uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like, not as positive a thing, but I think she's fantastic. I love her so much. Do you like Nicole Kidman? Love Nicole Kidman. Uh, would you ever live outside of England? I, um, the only place I've ever been that I think I would actually like to live is Paris, quite honestly. But I don't speak the language, so... Yeah. You, Calvin, you should get a PS4. Well, yeah. I've I got one now. So that was that's nice Christmas. Yeah. Um Oh, that's a really good question from a Stone Fox. If you could get a remaster between Goldeneye, the original version, or Nightfire, both of them are multiplayer, what would you choose? Nightfire. Yeah. Do you like the code name theory? No, hate it. Code name theory is a load of nonsense. Don't even get me started on that. I do need to update my video actually on the code name theory. Um, but yeah, no, I hate that. Not a fan. Do you have a Bond opinion that you think no one else has? Ooh, 
that's good. I'm going to have to ruminate on that one. Uh, all right, actually, yeah, no, um, there's um, a reception, an actress that plays a receptionist in uh, Casino Royale. Uh, I can't remember what the place is called, but it's the place that Bond visits in uh, the Bahamas. As soon as he gets there, he smashes the German guy's car, and then he goes into the office, and he's like, uh, he goes into the, um, the hotel, and he's asking, like, oh, I bumped into this guy's, um, uh, oh, he clipped the paintwork and his Aston Martin, could you tell me who he is? And that receptionist is brilliant. I think I, I I really I really do have a bit of a thing for James Bond receptionists. Like there's such a wide variety of like the one in the spy who loved me is so crazy when she's like, I have a message for you. I think you just delivered it. And then he's closing the door and she's still there like staring at him. Like it's so weird. Have you ever seen Stormbreaker? Yes I have and it's pretty bad. Would you ever appear on Mastermind with James Bond as your subject? Yes, I would. Favorite James Bond director, Martin Campbell, I think. Um, the Ocean Club. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. It is The Ocean Club. Have you ever thought of streaming a Bond game on Twitch? I'm not terribly technically savvy, so I'm not sure if I'd uh, have the capacity to do such a thing. But maybe if I... Yeah, yeah. And you know what? I'd love to do it. I would. Dumbest Q gadget of all time. Um... That's a good one. Oh, uh, dumbest Q gadget. Oh, I need to ruminate on that one a little bit. Not overly keen on that couch from uh, The Living Daylights, just because I wonder, like, how you would get someone into a position, like, on, like, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh... We all know top 10 James Bond receptionist is coming very soon. April Fool's Day. Unpopular Bond opinions, I have way too many. Did you like The Last Jedi? No, I didn't, actually. Would you ever want to be interviewed by anyone? I don't know who'd want to interview me, but, um... Yeah, yeah, be nice. Um... Submarine Crocodile was pretty silly. Oh my god, yes, the glasses from A View to a Kill. Yes, those are the stupidest Bond gadget ever. Like, when he's, like, doing that thing to, like, see through the glass. I love how many people are saying the sunglasses from A View to a Kill. Yes, you are all correct. That is the worst Bond gadget of all time. It's when Roger Moore's like, he's like that on his face. It's just, it's so bizarre. What's your unpopular Bond opinion, Red Skyline? The Q-Bot is the worst. Oh, the Q-Bot is pretty bad. Yeah. What Bond film took you the longest to watch? Oh, I, I can't remember because it's been so many years since I saw them. I can't even remember what the last one before I got caught up with the most recent one I saw was. Did you see A Quiet Place? No, I didn't. Thoughts on Crocodile Dundee? I haven't seen them recently. A cringiest Bond moment. Could be Roger Moore in the shower with uh, Tanya Roberts at the end of A View to a Kill. Uh, have you seen American Beauty? I requested this on the Diminishing Returns podcast, and they did it, but this was after you left. Oh! I, I keep up with that podcast. I know what they do when I'm not on it. No, I, I, I have seen American Beauty, and uh, yeah, I remember really liking it. Yeah, it's a great movie. Have you seen Baby Driver? Yes, I loved Baby Driver. Opinions on Quentin Tarantino. Inglorious Bastards is one of my very favorite films of all time. The rest of his stuff, I think, is really great. Um, but not in, like, my top movies or anything. Uh, oh, thanks, Vinny. Thank you. I think I'm going to be signing off soon, too. I think I'm going to go in about, like, ten minutes or, or, or so. Um, just because I've been doing this for a couple of hours now. And uh, this has gone to my head, and I need some food. Um, have you seen the code name? The have you seen Codename the Cleaner? No, I haven't. Do you draw? Uh, I can do cartoons. I can't do live action. Have you seen Johnny English Strikes Again? And if so, would you think of it compared to the first two films? I haven't seen it, actually. I'm still waiting for it to come out on the home media, and then I'll watch it. I don't get to the cinema as much as I would like. Largely because the prices are so bloody expensive. It's really... Do you like arty farty movies? You've capitalized arty farty. So I don't know if that's a person, or you just mean pretentious movies, and some I like, some I don't. 
what would be the weirdest? Morin Casino Royale or Craig in a view to a kill? Uh, Morin Casino Royale, probably. That was supposed to be his first mission. Matt Berry is a villain. I do love Matt Berry. But, uh, yeah. Have you seen Dawn of the Dead 1978? Yep, very good film again. Um, what should we have next? A new Thunderbolt or a new Casino Royale? Well, I guess uh, I, uh, Casino Royale is kind of brilliant, whereas I think both versions of the Thunderbolt story on film haven't been very good, so they can try again for my money's worth. Um, if you could resurrect someone to direct a Bond film, who would it be? <sighs> I'd love to have seen an Alfred Hitchcock Bond film, but um, yeah... Uh, do you like Harry Potter? I don't. Sorry. Have you seen Hellraiser? No. Favorite animated TV show? Um, Beast Wars Transformers is my favorite animated TV show, closely followed by Batman the Animated Series. Uh, what's the first swear word in a Bond film? I'm sure we, well, it depends, because I'm sure we have like a damn and a hell and whatever in the Sean Connery ones, but I believe it must be Mrs. Bell. Holy shit. It must be that one, surely. Uh, did you like The Last Jedi? No, I didn't. Mrs. Bell. Yes. Yes. Someone else mentioned Mrs. Bell. Who'd be your dream cast for a Bond film? Oh, I don't know. I don't even like to speculate on these things because I think it's just. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I. I yeah. I, I, I just like it to be decided for me, and then I will have opinions on it rather than putting people forward myself. Beast Wars, yes, yes. Someone else like that. Did you like Danger Mouse growing up? I did, and I really like the new version as well, actually. It's really, really good. I love the Christmas episode. Um, was Judy Dench the first F-bomb? I believe she was. I believe she was. What moment should Bond have definitely died but in but pulled the old island of the day on them? Uh, I don't know, really. I hope Bond doesn't die in the next one. I know that people are, um, you know, speculating that, oh, Craig's Bond might die, but he can never die. I'd be really disappointed if that happened. If every party in Parliament was a James Bond movie, which would each party be? What a question is that? I love it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This is too difficult. Um, Desmond Llewellyn or Ben Wish or Desmond Llewellyn? Of course. Assuming that question is, um, who would you want as Q rather than who would you want to sleep with? Uh, as Q, Desmond Llewellyn, obviously. Um, what film did Judy Dench say the F-bomb? Skyfall. I fucked this up, didn't I? is what she says just before Silver and his men attack uh, Skyfall itself. Thoughts on the Halloween franchise? Love Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, but in an ironic way, H2O and the most recent Halloween. The rest are kind of average to dislike. Bond film that most disappointed you? Spectre. By far. Uh, do you like For Your Eyes Only and why? It's okay, it's fine, it's my least favourite Roger Moore film, but, you know. Uh, is Desmond Llewellyn your favourite Llewellyn? Hmm, good question. Very good question. Um, yes. Yes, he is my favourite Llewellyn. Thank you, I'm glad that someone in enjoyed my Judy Dench impression. Thank you, Shivan. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, the ice skating shot of Diana Rigg. Does it get any better? I love that shot when Bond's just been terrified by the polar bear. And Diana Rigg, like, comes up and then the camera goes up. Like, there are some beautiful shots in um, on Her Majesty's Secret Service. It's, like, it just so beautiful. Calvin E was very, very bad. Oh, yes. Sorry, it took, it took me a moment to realize what you were talking about then. Do lips really taste like strawberries? Uh, depends who. Chinese ones taste different to um, other ones, I hear. 
Will they ever change the same damn ending Bond theme? I hope they do. Enjoy night, Calvin Dyson. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. Is this going to be a regular thing? Well, actually, Christy, I, I, I kind of think it might be now, because I actually really enjoyed this. This was fun. I might just do more impromptu uh, things like this, because it's been really fun, and you guys have all been really nice. I kind of was a bit nervous about this, because it's like comments on YouTube videos you can just ignore or go away and ruminate on. But if someone was saying something very nasty in the comments here, I yeah, I don't know what i do. So, um... Yeah, thank thank you all for being really lovely. Once once a month, yeah, yeah, once a month sounds like a good a good thing. Oh, Shivan, thank you. I'm glad that I pronounced it right. I'm glad that I pronounced your name correctly. Optimal length for a Bond movie: two hours. Two hours on the dot. Uh, what does your partner do for a living? He's a uh, a freelance personal assistant. So that's what he does for a living. Uh, favorite gun barrel shot? Uh, uh, well, it's either, it is Doc, like Doctor No. I think is brilliant. Um, but also, I think Pierce Brosnan nails the performance uh, more uh, than anyone else. Uh, how would you react if the gun intro changed from a bullet chamber to a sniper scope? Hash marks. I wouldn't like it, but then I'm a traditionalist. So, yeah. Uh, this has been great watching your videos a while. I want to say hello. Oh, thanks, Dan. Thank you. That's nice. Oh, thank you, Jacob. That's really nice. Oh, people are lovely. Favorite inappropriate question today? There haven't been any inappropriate questions. I think they've all been fabulous. Do you like Dutch Bond fans reviews? Yes, I do. I really do. Someone asked this earlier on. Yeah, yeah, no, they're awesome. He's awesome as well. I'm Facebook friends with him. He's great. Lovely, lovely guy. Um... We do have very different tastes in Bond, which is why it would be nice to do some kind of discussion at some point, I guess. I don't know in what format that would be, but, uh, yeah, I know that he likes a lot of the more serious and gritty stuff, and I like more of the campy, silly stuff, so I think it'd be interesting um, to have a discussion about that, but, um, oh, thanks, Inez, in class. Yeah, on Diminishing Returns, everyone hates Bond but me. That's the podcast, and I'm, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. When you redo a Dine of the Day review, will you do that thing where you dodge the gun barrel bullet in real life again? That made me laugh. Oh, thank you. That's nice. I mean, I don't know if you want me to dodge a bullet in real life, because I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but, um, yeah. Oh, thanks, Aiden. Glad you, glad you tuned in. Uh, when Calvin... When Calvin, when he likes someone, yeah, I'm Facebook friends with him. You're not wrong. I know I've been saying that a lot, but yeah. This has been a great live stream. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What's your favorite material for delicatessens to be made of? Um, stained steel. Definitely stained steel. Most annoying level in everything or nothing. Oh. That graveyard level is pretty tough. Um, can you do a joint video with Dutch Bond fan or Skype or something? You know what I would like to actually. Ah, oh, but no, actually, yeah, yeah, no, because because I think like that kind of discussion is always a bit like, especially like because at the start of this, I was a little bit nervous about doing this, and it took a couple of cocktails. Um, to in fact, that'll be my thing now. Every time I do a live stream, it'll be to a new cocktail. Um, but I I think yeah. It'd be nice to do a discussion with Dutch Bond fan eventually, but I think the format would have to be, um, yeah, uh, in person, one camera setup, kind of just chatting. Maybe if people would be interested in that, I don't even know if that would be interesting, but yeah. Um, hate the compulsory stealth levels on 007 Legends. Oh my god, yes. I have a whole rant about that in my video. In fact, I yeah, yeah, I was editing that part of the video yesterday. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Great live stream, Cal. Oh, thank you! Thank you, Mikkel? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Mikkel Jensen. Oh, you're, you're really nice. Thank you. It's a lovely comment. Um... Sex on the beach, great one. That's the cocktail I'm assuming that Sam is referring to. Uh, 
Flight tickets to Amsterdam aren't that expensive. You're correct. PPK or PP9 or P99. Uh, PPK. Any day. Any day the PPK. Right. God, I've been doing this for two hours and ten minutes. I thought this was going to be like an hour. Uh, I do listen to the podcast of James on radio. Sorry, I could I could keep doing this all night, but I really need to go and eat. So I'm going to, um, yeah, head off now. Um, but thank you. I just hit the microphone then to wake everyone up if you'd fallen asleep. Um, it did go fast. Yeah. Oh, sweet. thank you. Swish, swish. That's nice. Nice stream has been great. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, thank you. Everyone's been very nice now. Oh, sorry. Sorry, swish, swish. I need to go. Uh, bye, thanks. Oh, thank you. You can stream for eight hours. I mean, I could if there was someone here to give me my meals, but I'm alone um, this weekend, so I have to go and make my own stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, Dark Angel. If you want to ask me a question quickly, I can answer it. Uh, I, I do have one last gulp of my Vespa to drink. Thank you guys for sticking through me just getting slowly drunk over the course of this. Um, oh, no problem, James. Thanks, free mate, son. Uh, thanks, Tom. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, David. Goodbye, David. Logan Jr. Uh, thank you. Sorry, I'm, I'm just reading. Like, everyone's, say, every, everyone's being very nice now, if you're watching this after the fact. Uh, yeah. Oh, Fin Flash, that's really nice. Thank you. Uh, yeah. When will you next post? Um, I'm hoping either tonight or tomorrow, um, and it's going to be a Doctor No book review. So, yeah, hopefully people will enjoy that. And, um, yeah, sorry, I'm just looking at the things to see if it's like, we could order you food so you don't have to leave. That's true. That's true. I do like me a pizza hut. So, yeah. Um, oh, thank you. Unlike Calvin, the diamonds linger. Thank you. See ya. Uh, I will let you know about the Patreon. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about putting an announcement for that in with my bond re-ranking, just to see, just to see how much people are like up for such a thing. Because I would do the Patreon thing and then do review of the movies, other spy movies or other related bond movie. Um, movies. Uh, one last question. Would you have enjoyed the film series if it followed the book order? Um, I don't see why not. Uh, I'm kind of happy with how things panned out, but, um, yeah, I don't see why that couldn't have worked. Um, okay. I'm gonna go. I can imagine Calvin goes around in a tuxedo to work. I don't actually. The only time I even wear a proper shirt is when I do these videos. So uh, Calvin Dyson will return. Calvin Dyson will return in a further lime lime stream live stream. Thank you for joining me. Two vespers down. Next cocktail live stream will be a mint julep, and I will um yeah look forward to um doing this again very soon. Thank you all again for making this so lovely. Um, it's been really great. Thank you. Swish, swish, my job is in, my job is in children's television. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's come up a, a few times. Uh, Calvin will return in Quantum of Calvin. Yes. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Love you all. Thank you, if that's not too cheesy to say. Um, but, yeah. Okay, gonna go now. Bye.